who goes there? It's like being in a prisoner of war camp. Absolutely freezing. Sandbags at the ready. Well, yeah, we're back in the UK. And look what we've come back to. During the night, it's uh, basically, I can't say threw it down, but what would you say, with snow? Well, we'll say it's threw it down with snow. But it's absolutely freezing. It's so much different how things can change when you on the site when it's uh, summer to winter. Just have a look at this. It's like a mist with it as well. I don't know if you can see it. It's like we've, it's like we've got, that's the uh, commanding office, the commander's office, well, the general's office or whatever you want to call it. Like that one, the brown one, and all the rest, like, uh, makes it look like, like I say, cold it. But it's different. It is different. He's loving it. Look at him, he's even got his camel on. Thank you, lad. Hey, sir. Hey, Ace, hey, come here. I better turn the camera this way because I think he might be wanting. Oh, he's having a wee. But yeah. Back to the UK, back to the winter. And I've got my Czechoslovakia and get coat on. Or Czech coat on. Some of the people have cleared the roads off. I'm going to clean ours up in a bit. But it's raining, so I'm hoping the rain's going to clear a lot of it away. So it's probably take a bit away anyway. So what we're going to do, we're going to have a walk back up and have a walk around the uh, pond, see what that's like. So let's crack on. Can't believe how much changes with the snow coming making it look uh, like I say prison of war camp I woke up at five o'clock this morning and it was like this first I think it was about half eleven last night it was raining, and I said to Jan, I said, it's raining outside now. And then you get up at about, oh, I think it was about quarter past five, I got up, and uh, this was happening. Well, it had happened, and it was quite deep, as you can see. But, uh, it's not nice to come back to, and I'm hoping it's cleared up in the next couple of days before we go back to work. The thing is I worry about Jan when she's driving in this weather. I worry about a lot of people who drive in this weather because it's not the uh, best conditions, is it? And then when it rains and it freezes overnight, that's when the, all the accidents happen. I always say to Jan when she's walking in it, walk as if she's in high heel shoes. And be careful where you step each time you step. Even the lakes uh, looking very picturesque. Well, the fishing pond, I should say. It's cold because I can feel it under my feet. Thick pair of socks on. Huh? It's still cold. Got no gloves on yet. But I'll tell you what, any longer like this, and I will be.
I'll tell you what is funny though, when you basically you fly back home and you, you know you're gonna be into cold weather. This wasn't here when we first landed, but it was cold, like I said. And the day after this comes, it is a shock to reality. I mean, people, some people like the snow, some people don't. I feel it more for the elderly people who's walking in it and they can't get out and so they've got no friends and family or relatives to go and do the shopping for them. But uh, it's not nice. You do, it's the worst part of the year I, I don't like winter. It really puts a depression on things, doesn't it? But on the other side of it, it brings families together this time of year, Christmas time and that. Well, hopefully it does anyway. I just couldn't believe it when I looked out the window. I said it's... Because these are all like mostly new vans what's on here. And they don't got the decking on and things like that. It's just like, look like... Blocks what they have on prisoner war camps. But... It is what it is. On the good side of it, we've uh, sorted our next trip out um, to Tenerife, and then we've got another a few more things to book, put in place. There's a few more things happening in the next couple of weeks to a month, which could change our life even for the better. So just watch this space. But the only thing I don't like doing is basically doing YouTube videos I don't like doing them sometimes because I feel like those who haven't got the money to go on to Tenerife on holidays and things like that I just feel guilty I feel awful doing it I do, I really feel guilty if I buy something new I feel guilty and doing a review on it. There's people out there who can't afford things. And I've been one of them. I've been one of them. But anyway, I've just showed you around the uh, camp. And we'll see you on the next one. Hopefully, the rain's gone. And we can have a bit more fun. Couldn't bring the electric scooters out on this, could I? Oh, this is how our van looks like now. All snowed in. So, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks everybody for subscribing as well and showing your support and for the comments you've given. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now.